Happy Friday! Guess where we're at? We're currently driving from Seattle to Vancouver and we're actually waiting at the border right now. It's the second week when the border is open to Americans that we take this chance to come here. And we're a bit anxious. We checked in on the Arrive Can app. Let's see how it goes. See you on the other side. Exactly one hour and five minutes waiting in the line. Took under five minutes at the actual booth. Just the general questions, why we're going to Canada, if we're vaccinated, COVID test proof. Very simple, the lady was super nice. I'm getting pretty hungry, it's 8.05 right now. It'll be about 40 minutes. Fuck. <clears throat> Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Hey, we just finished eating at the eatery. It's about 10 p.m. and we're at the night market in Richmond. Maybe get some stinky tofu if there's some. And I think the entrance fee is like 350. But let's go in. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around. Yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. By the cottage room blows. Yeah, I wanna try myself in. We're at Happy Day Cafe in Richmond. We got CEO Wong, uh, and then Pena Sayocho. So it's like preserved kanji. I also got Hong Kong milk tea. And then we also got this fried donut. I was able to order most things, as in one out of three things in Cantonese. So not that many things. It's so busy right now. It's only 8 a.m. Literally 8 a.m. I'm so shocked how busy it is. A lot of people are just reading the newspaper, drinking their tea, and Enjoying life. And that's kind of what I want when I get older. That's kind of what I want. We're at Tim Hortons for just a regular coffee. Alright, we got the medium coffee. There was one time in SF when I just moved there. I went up to the barista at some SF cafe and then said, I'd like one regular coffee and the guy gave me so much sass. He told me, he's like, honey, we only have sugar and cream and i was like so embarrassed but i don't know why i should have said something but basically in canada regular coffee just means one sugar and one cream and i feel so accepted here anyways after that monologue we're heading into stanley park and we're gonna bike around for the day maybe for like two hours and probably head to the suspension bridge in the afternoon but so far it's been great we had a really good cafe experience in the morning it's only 9 a.m we got coffee got hong kong milk tea i don't know what i can ask for more so it's been good so far we just got our bikes we're gonna drive down chilco street here and then go one way around the loop and probably do this for about two hours taking the scenery if you see this also this is very interesting sculptures pretty much the uh centerpiece i feel like of english bay I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah So I just bumped into Sally and Elaine from Woodlands in Vancouver They're both visiting from Mississauga and I thought that was the craziest thing ever I haven't really bumped into people this like coincidentally in so freaking long because of COVID. Honestly, that kind of made my day. I hit the suspension bridge. Oh, really? You see it? That's oh, literally right there. All right, we're going there. We're entering the Capilano Bridge now. It's really cute. High key kind of scared right now. Whoa! It's very shaky. Yeah, this is like definitely more shaky than I expected. Oh my god. Here's the view. Alright, let's keep going. Oh my god. We're gonna try to find a way to get up there. Seems pretty cool. Tree 
Ta something? I don't know. <laughs> Let's square going up. So this reminds me of this, this time I was in Nigeria with Alex where we met and we also went on a lot of suspension bridges in the rainforest. It's kind of giving me the same vibe. It's like a lot of connected small suspension bridges. What a good reminder. I'm being super careful right now with my phone, but oh my God, look at this cliff. <laughs> oh my God. Don't know how to say it. We waited for about 45 minutes. We ordered some fried squid and also butter beef. The beef kind of looks a bit raw, so maybe that's what it's famous for. We also got their fried um, chicken wings, which I'm super excited about. All right, first bite. So excited. Mm. Oh yeah, squid's really good. Okay, I'm about to try the beef. I get what is called butter. It kind of melts and it's super flavorful. We just finished. I will be thinking about this meal for the next while. They're known for their fried chicken wings, but I actually think it was the most mediocre out of the three we got. Butter beef was the best thing. Yeah. I would cross the border just for that. I know, right? Me too. Right now we're gonna head down to Aberdeen Center. It's down in Richmond. It's a supposedly like a very Asian mall. Now I'm kind of curious. I just wanna check it out. Just like walk off all this food. All right, I'll see you there. Good morning. Wow. It's Sunday. We woke up pretty early, took a shower. And now we're at Victory Bakery. Got two really large coffees, like, my god. We're gonna go to Granville later for the market and then go to Izakaya. I'm super excited about that. Well, I'm really sad, but we're probably gonna go home after that and call it a weekend, but I've enjoyed it so far. I really wanna come back probably in the future. Canadian. <laughs> We're at Kingyo right now and we got two drinks. One Kingyo drink and one cactus drink. Oh yeah, this is very good. We got negatori and also some tuna tataki. <laughs> we also got the beef tongue. This is a super hot rock here. I think we cook it ourselves onto the rock. Sizzle. It's really tender. Is it tuna sushi, some sashimi, uh, grilled black pork? Scallop. I think this plate is perfect for two people. Chicken, 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 chicken. It's like my stomach, man. Oh wow. The scallop is so good. 